Alright guys, I'm back for another video and um, today's video, as you can tell by the title, I'm going to be breaking in a glove and I'm going to be breaking in this TT2. It's like, it can close like that, but I mean you can tell it's pretty stiff. So I want to really break it in and I'll use this to explain to you guys how I break in my gloves because that's probably my biggest question asked on my Instagram is how I break in my gloves because a lot of people like the way I do it. So. Um, yeah, I did a glove break in about two years ago with Nick and 4S, so this will just be my new one. And hopefully you guys like the tips, and hopefully it helps. So um, stay tuned, please like and subscribe. Um, that really keeps me doing what I'm doing, and I want to get to 10k subscribers, so uh, drop a sub when you can. Thanks guys. All right, so if you guys saw my last break-in video, you kind of understand like how I like to approach like the beginning of like owning a glove and breaking it in. So like, um, what I usually first do, just because when gloves are super stiff, this one's pretty broken in right now, but, and I usually just focus on the heel and the laces to start breaking in. So if you remember from my last video, you take these two sides and just kind of go like that. You push together the heel just to give it some give it some pressure, make it move around because you want this loosened up and you want your laces loosened up. And the way I loosen my laces again, is just go like this. Just pull them apart. Don't use hot water, don't hot water the whole glove. It's really bad for it. Um, I saw a really brutal video on that <laughs> earlier on Instagram and it's just, it's just not the way you want to do break-ins. And like I was saying, just focus on making the inserts move on the inside. Because the more those move, the more they loosen up, and it makes it a lot easier to close the glove. And you can already tell it's starting to really do well for this glove. Break-in's starting to look really good. And you also wanna do this, just kinda round that pocket a little bit. And once you do that, you focus on your heel and your fingers, then you can move into the pocket. And one way I like to get the pocket going is, I don't have a mallet with me, but if you have a bat, you just take the knob of the bat and you can use that as the mallet and you just kind of push into the web like that you see how it's stretching that's what you want you want this to stretch out quite a bit then you can just kind of move it around however you want but do that for a bit and you can do all this just sitting on the couch and that makes it really easy to do and especially in times like these where we have to stay inside you can really focus on breaking in gloves which is really nice but once you do that you get the pocket working get the heel and the fingers really moving then you can move over to a ball and that's when you can start just lightly throwing it into the glove like that and like I said in the last video of breaking in, um, you can use a softball and I would recommend that actually if you want a deeper pocket. If you want it to close more like that, then just use a baseball. But I like deep pockets on my gloves, so I usually have a softball to help break in gloves. And unfortunately, I don't have one with me right now. But um, yeah, I would definitely use that to, don't play catch with it, but I would just use it just to throw, throw it in like that. Just to kind of get the pocket moving quite a bit. Another point is if you really want a good finger stain to start forming, all you have to do is just leave your pointer finger there and just press down a lot and the oils from your finger are eventually going to move off onto the glove. And that's just how I hold it. I go two in the pink, one out and I keep it here instead of here. I just think it feels more comfortable to me. But just do whatever feels best to you. And constantly flare your glove. I like it double flared but some players like it a different way. But my glove's flared like this right now and the form's starting to look really good.
All right, now that I've focused on the heel and the finger laces quite a bit and it's starting to close a little bit, I'm gonna play some catch to really work on the pocket. And I'm also gonna play catch just so the glove starts to mold to my hand and start to fit really well. So after playing catch in the ground ball session, the gloves are getting a lot easier to close as you can see. Absolutely love this thing. This glove is, this glove is so rad. I love it so much. Tula is my favorite player if you guys don't know, so that's why this glove has like a lot of meaning to me. But yeah, you can see it's closing a lot easier now. Pocket's getting a little bigger. And playing catch really helps. And ground balls get your hand like a lot more adjusted to the glove just because it's new and you know you, it has to form your hand before you start taking like in-game ground balls and stuff but yeah i'm really liking the progress on this and um if you guys have any questions just please message me down below or just dm me at coachella gloves on instagram and in my opinion the biggest time saver from all this is just honestly focusing on the heel and the finger laces because that really allows the glove to close a lot easier and if you just get those out of the way really early and you can just do it sit on the couch like i said so if you can knock that out really quick your glove will be so easy to break in um, i put out a little poll on my story if you guys want to see some of my baseball cards because i showed some in the stream and you guys seem interested so i'm probably going to run through some baseball cards that i have right now that i used to collect so uh we're going to jump right into that so I used to collect cards like seven years ago when I was in middle school and I keep them all in this shoe box actually but I'll run through some of the cool ones. I don't have enough time to go through all of them but I'll show you guys some of my favorites and some of the cool ones. Alright we're going to start out with my favorite. This is an all star huge cut piece of David Wright. He signed it as well but it's the warm up jersey for the all star game and I just think that's really cool. It's a huge cut and you, I got a big piece at the end from National which is really cool but that's probably one of my favorite cards I have. So like I said, I'm a really big Troy Slowitzki fan, so I got a lot of his cards. This one's pretty cool. This is the All-Star Game from Arizona. All-Star Game jersey, it has the snakeskin on it. I have all these too. These are all Tula cards. So I'm just a huge Tula fan. But yeah, I have a whole bunch of his cards. I also have Carlos Correa, cheating shortstop for the Astros. I got David Wright, pretty good patch right there. It's pretty cool. A one of one plate card that's a printing plate card. 
uh, from Triple Threads from Yonder Alonzo. I think that's pretty cool. It's what, that's the card they use to print all the other cards that look like that. And this, this one's pretty sweet. It's a Giancarlo Stanton, but it has Mike Stanton on it when he used to go by Mike. So I always thought that was pretty cool. But like I said, guys, I have so many cards in here. It's just, it's ridiculous. All jersey, autograph, all that type of stuff. Pretty cool Prince Fielder right there. This one's pretty cool. Bryce Harper, Team USA. I also have these Javi Baez cards that are pretty cool. Two rookie cards signed. And then one of the Bowman prospect cards. But if any of you guys have a lot of knowledge about cards, please DM me because, like I said, I have a whole bunch of cards that I don't really know the value of. So please reach out if you know anything about these. I'd love to talk to you about it, get some, get some understanding of how much value is here. And please subscribe if you haven't already because I might be doing a giveaway with some of these cards and maybe some signed baseballs in the near future. So, uh, yeah, just please subscribe. It really means a lot to me. It really keeps me motivated to keep doing what I'm doing. Alright, that's gonna wrap it up. Uh, please sub to me. I'm trying to get up to 10k, so let's try and make that goal uh, realistic. But um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Please comment down below what video you wanna see next, and I'll see you guys soon. Everything hurts. Yeah, but not like in a moan way. It was